In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to read your digital meter. But before we talk about the different screens that your electrical meter is gonna have, let's go ahead and talk about the components of the electrical meter. So you're gonna see here on your digital meter, you're gonna have numbers up top right here in that top section. And that is gonna show you the energy consumption in kilowatts from that meter ever since the meter has been installed, okay? So if the meter was installed five years ago, this is 83,158 kilowatts since this meter has been installed. You're also gonna have a number down here. Now that number is gonna differ depending on the different screen that you have. We're gonna talk about that in this video. A digital meter can vary from how many screens it's gonna show. So it can show anywhere between three to eight different screens we're going to talk about what those screens mean however my particular meter that you guys are going to be seeing here has three particular screens that it's going to show now this is going to give you guys information on how much energy consumption you guys are using per day and you can use this to budget how much you're going to be spending per day on your electricity bill so the first screen that you guys are going to notice on this particular meter is going to be what's called the test screen now this screen can vary between what type of meter you have your meter might flash all eights so if you see your meter flash all eights that means that's the test screen this particular meter is a little bit different so this meter you know the test screen is popped up when you see the word on right here in this bottom portion. That just shows that the meter is working correctly. Now, if the meter wasn't working correctly, it wouldn't say on, it would say something else. So right here is the test screen. Now the second screen that you guys are gonna have, which is the most important screen that is gonna be used to determine your energy consumption, is the kilowatt screen. Now you'll know you get to the kilowatt screen because you'll typically see here at that bottom portion where you saw the on, you're gonna see a KW. And what that, when you see that, that just means you're at the kilowatt screen. Now the number that's typically next to the KW is gonna be typically showing your energy consumption that you're using right now. So for example, the number that I talked about on top is your overall energy consumption since the panel has been installed. Because I do want to mention that most electrical meters don't reset. So this is going to show you the number of the kilowatt usage since the meter has been installed. So the bottom number is going to show you the kilowatt usage that you're using at the current moment. Mine's is showing 83,120 kilowatts. And that's because, like I said, it's showing me how much it's been using since this meter's been installed. So obviously you would just have to just subtract this number from the previous day to the next day to get your kilowatt usage per day. The next screen that you're gonna see on my particular meter is the voltage screen. Now this simply displays the voltage at which your meter is operating. This number is simply used to make sure that your meter is operating safely within a safe frame, um, safe range. So you can see here that on this particular meter, when it flashes volts, that it's showing that my particular meter is operating at 241 volts. And that number is gonna stay the same most often or not so this screen it will just like the test screen will typically stay the same the way my meter works these numbers never change up top the only thing that changes when it blinks from different screen to different screen is this bottom portion like i talked about when you see on that's the test screen when you see kilowatts that's the kilowatt screen and when you see the votes that's the vote screen so if you guys are wondering what those dashes, those moving dashes mean, so those dashes, what those mean, when you have dashes that are coming from left to right, that just means that you're drawing power from the electrical company, okay? So if you see those dashes go from right to left, that means you're returning power back to the company, okay? I do wanna mention guys, just so you guys know, every meter is different, so you might not see exactly what you see on my meter, the same what you see on your meter so just keep that in mind for example you might have seen adi flash on my electrical meter and might be wondering what that means that just stands for automatic distribution infrastructure now this isn't really too important 
this usually just means this is the name of the utility company that's providing the power to you. Your meter might not have this, guys. Every meter is a little bit different. The main thing are the basics that we talked about in this video, knowing about the different screens that your meter has and knowing how to read the kilowatt consumption because that's the main thing that's going to be used to determine your energy bill.